The Russians demonstrated training to intercept Ukrainian sea drones using FPV drones launched from an MI-8 helicopter. This was noted by the publication Defense Express. The helicopter contains a crew of FPV drones and the UAV itself is launched from the open door of the helicopter. After that, the operator makes a decision to attack the target. Although this solution seems rather simple, it represents a new approach to using FPV drones. In fact, this approach neutralizes the threat that anti-aircraft drones can pose to the helicopter. Let us recall that back in the spring, the Russians published a video in which you can see a Russian helicopter firing at one of the Ukrainian anti-aircraft drones. It shows a short-range air-to-air missile. As the Russian side noted at the time, the drone managed to launch a missile towards the Mi-8 helicopter, but it missed. The FPV drone's flight range significantly exceeds the R-73's launch range from zero altitude. The latter is about 12 kilometers, while the FPV drone's range can reach 20 to 30 kilometers. It should be noted that the Russians have also begun producing their own sea drones. Thus, recently, it was reported about the serial production of a heavy sea drone, which was named Vizier. Its length is 7 meters and its width is 2.5 meters. The drone can reach speeds of up to 45 kilometers an hour and its range reaches about 500 kilometers. Earlier, the Russian Federation presented the Morena 300S unmanned boat, which received a warhead weighing 500 kilograms. It is reported to have a range of up to 500 kilometers and a speed of up to 45 knots. The warhead weighs 500 kilograms. The developers do not disclose other important parameters. The available data suggests that the Russians created this drone for coastal operations. The reliability of the design is a big question for experts, in particular the trailer motor, which is more reminiscent of similar products of the Yemeni Houthis. Overall, the low build quality of the Morena 300S is striking. Perhaps this is due to the fact that it was created in a short time. The boat's appearance can even be confused with the bizarre products of Latin American drug cartels. Among the most interesting solutions is an element similar to the dish from Starlink. Perhaps this is a receiver of another system, stylized as a system from SpaceX. Heavy smoke was seen rising over southern Lebanon's skyline on Monday following Israeli strikes. The Lebanese health ministry said at least 105 people were killed around the country in airstrikes on Sunday. Two strikes near the southern city of Sidon, about 45 kilometers south of Beirut, killed at least 32 people, the ministry said. Separately, Israeli strikes in the northern province of Baalbek Hermel killed 21 people and wounded at least 47. Lebanese media reported dozens of strikes in the central, eastern and western Baqa and in the south, besides strikes on Beirut. Israel says it targets militants, but the strikes have hit buildings where civilians were living and the death toll was expected to rise.
Israeli troops have entered the neighboring Lebanon's territory. Israeli armored vehicles have crossed the border with Lebanon in the Mechula area, while the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, declared the areas around the communities of Mechula, Misgav AM, and Kfar Jaladi in northern Israel near the border with Lebanon a closed military zone. Israel plans to create a 20-kilometer buffer zone on the border, according to reports. A border breakthrough has also been recorded as IDF sappers are removing barriers in southern Lebanon. Lebanese troops have withdrawn from positions along Lebanon's southern border with Israel to 5 kilometers north of the border, a Lebanese security source told Reuters. Lebanese troops' withdrawal comes amid growing signs of an imminent Israeli ground invasion of southern Lebanon. Likewise, a Lebanese military official told AFP that the Lebanese army was not retreating but was moving and regrouping troops stationed on the southern border. U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said Israel had informed the United States of a series of limited ground operations in Lebanon. Local media has described the developments as the Third Lebanese War. Let's see the army out.